So hey guys, I see Mohammed Fusev Chukwuka Obilago, and in this video, um, I want to show you some certain things to take note of. Okay, you know, concerning the wallet, concerning transaction verification, concerning um, you're paying your ten dollar fee. But since I'm starting this video from my wallet, I want to show you something when you are when you want to do transaction. Okay, when you want to send TBC to somebody. Okay. All right, so most of you who have migrated to the new wallet might have noticed that this sign that looks like Telegram sign is not in your own wallet yet. Okay, it means that your send button on the new wallet is not yet turned on. Okay, so it's something that you have to excite patient because it will be turned on. Just make sure that you fill out everything that has to be filled out in your Kringle cash, including your profile, very, very important. Uh, put your Facebook link, uh, very, very important. Your phone number, your trusted seller phone number, uh, email address, alternative email. Make sure that everything in your profile is filled out, okay? Now, when it comes to sending TBC, when you click this button, what it does is it, lo it loads the page to the, uh, to the next page where you're going to do uh, your transaction, okay? And when you get to that next page, you have to be very careful because I see a lot of people making the mistake, okay? They go ahead and just shoot the transaction. They don't bother to look at what format the transaction is. And most of these things is born out of the attitude of not having much interest in TBC. They're only interested in, you know, finding a way to dispose of your TBC. So they don't care. They just go ahead and just act, okay? So... First thing you need to notice is that the account balance is in Kringo car in Kringo format, not in TBC format. Okay, if you click this button here to show you that it's in TBC format. Okay, if you click it back, it's in Kringo format. Now, make sure that your balance is always in Kringo format. Okay, as long as you're sending whatever you're sending or the equivalent dollar is less than one full tbc okay if it's less than one tbc don't bother about changing your balance to tbc format just leave it in kringles okay because when you leave it in tbc and what you're sending in tbc format and what you are sending if when you leave it in this format, okay, let me be practical. When you leave it in this format and you want to send transaction that, let's say, $500 or $100, okay, it will give you an error. It will tell you that see, the macros are not complete. Something like that, an error like that. I experienced it, I experienced, I experienced it some minutes ago. That's why I said, let me do this video. Let me talk about this first. This is fresh in my mind, okay? So... Another thing again, so you have to make sure that it is in Kringles. Click here, make sure that it's in Kringles. Okay, you have to see this sign. Okay, another thing again is being careful in putting the uh, wallet address. Okay, the best thing you can do, you and the buyer can do, is make sure that they copy and paste the address to your WhatsApp or text message so that you pick it exactly as it is and send the transaction to that address. Because I've noticed that a lot of people make the mis make mistake when they try to write it down with their pen and now want to transfer it or uh, type it when trying to do transaction. At times, a result to typo, typo error. So I, I know um, one of the transactions I did where I sold hundred dollars, I had to go back to the person and tell him, "Hey, copy and paste this address to me, okay? You don't write it down. Don't use pen." just make sure you just copy and paste it i know you might be right correct when you write it down but just do copy and paste okay so that's very important now another one you have to be very careful about is this place okay is this place because very well, let me say this because you can make mistake and put them you want to send ten dollars and you put it as ten and you leave it like this and press send when you press send, what you're trying to tell the TBC admin or TBC support is that you're sending 10 TBC. Okay? <laughs> what you're trying to let them know is that you're sending 10 TBC, on which they will frown upon because it shows that you're a discounter for you to sell 10 TBC. 
because they won't assume that you made a mistake they will assume first of all that you are discounting and then you have to go and bail yourself out by convincing them that it was a mistake so you have to be very careful that's why i don't do my transactions in tbc i do i choose usd okay anything i'm doing i choose the usd i don't want to do the calculation myself i want to allow the automatic process automated process by the tbc admin to do its work okay so this value here will let you know that the, the cost of one tbc uh, as of today so whatever it is you want to do just make sure you just put in the amount in usd select the currency as usd and send chicken okay you are done no hassles where the problem comes in is when you try to do the conversion yourself to get the value in tbc and you make a mistake and you know probably send a transaction that is way higher than what you're supposed to calculate so that's why i prefer using usd and if you are looking to shop with the tbc i prefer you US, use this usd format just put in 10 in the amount select the currency to usd and do your transaction but just make sure that it the balance is in kringle cash uh kringle format okay so i i think i've said this enough having said this let me walk, walk over to kringle cash okay all right so that this is the beauty of the billion coin app because it allows me to move between uh it allows me to move from one option to the other okay so all i have to do is if i'm done with this option i close it down i go back go to the home page and you know log myself in to um to the next thing okay and another thing again you need to make sure is you need to make sure that you have a not net uh, service or a net on your device okay so that you have a smooth process when, when you're doing anything you want to do with your account okay all right so i apologize for the network issue just bear with me it will be back up shortly okay very very important all right let me go back try again All right, so uh, we're finally, it has finally opened. So what I need to do is just log in. So just make sure that your network, your service provider is, whatever network you're using is working properly. As you can see, I'm struggling with mine to log in okay so i'll probably shift location just to make sure that i have enough uh, service network okay so i'm logged in now okay so this what i'm going to do on kringle cash is show you um how uh the things to take note of when it comes to you know paying your ten dollars most importantly and also when it comes to doing transaction verification because there has been an update on that so it's very important that you know this okay very highly important that you know this because whatever knowledge you have you can pass on to the next person so that you don't have people depending too much on you okay so it's very important okay all right so I apologize for the network apologize these are some of the challenges i'm having with doing uh live broadcast okay these are some of the challenges i have with doing live broadcast because um yes you have good intention to do the live broadcast but you will still have technical challenges because you can't compare the live broadcast of the man in united states to the man in nigeria okay because of the technical issues so that's why i've resulted in doing short videos okay 
all right so while we're waiting for uh, the pages to load let me explain to you uh, what I have in mind okay so it's working now it's okay now so first is paying your $10 fee okay so where do you pay your $10 fee? okay first is your profile okay very very important your profile okay make sure you fill out your Facebook link uh, if there's anything you don't have the information put NA not available but make sure your WhatsApp phone number is there your trusted seller phone number is there you have to also add a passport photograph you have to choose your participation status okay and as you can see I want to follow the proven Kringle Cash performance. So you also choose your sec three security questions. Very, very important. Three security questions. Because whenever you want to do forgot password, they're going to ask you for this. Unless if you forget, that means you have to go into a long battle with um, TBC uh, support to be able for them to be able to um, give you access or help you out okay now now when we're done with the profile you go to your account okay some of you your profile are not like this okay so what you see is your profile and your account so very, very much important is your account okay this is where your payment is done as you can see my status is paid but um if i want to pay again which i know i will pay very soon because um to for me to decide to use Kringle Cash, I know uh, the member the payment is renewed annually, okay. But I don't need to make that same payment again for my wallet because I have a lifetime access to my wallet, okay. So whatever you do here, okay. Once you've made payment with uh, Bitcoin, what you need to do is come down here and click here, okay for faster crediting of your payment okay or better still when you click make payment with bitcoin and you're in the page where you are seeing your account number okay you're seeing the bitcoin address to pay to you are seeing the pay um, the amount to pay for ten dollars you're seeing the amount to pay for okay you see the amount to pay for annual you're seeing the amount to pay for monthly okay so what do you need to do and um, you just need to click on copy to clipboard okay this is made easy before it wasn't like this before you had to highlight the whole thing yourself so by clicking copy automatically it highlights it and you copy this and then you go and paste it in your bitcoin uh, wallet and send okay all right so once you're done with sending the uh, the, the bitcoin amount you know this amount right here once you're done with sending it to the address the next thing you're going to do is come here immediately don't wait for the transaction to confirm okay come here immediately and register your uh your transaction okay the transaction is yet initiated okay so you scroll down here most people uh, find it very hard to do this okay that's why i keep telling them that hey rather than make mistake contact me and i will help you do it yes i might collect some uh yet uh yes you pay for the bitcoin but you also pay for my service for helping you to do it and also okay so and i've helped people so they don't have to worry about you know issues of uh, paying the ten dollar fee because all they do is they contact me and i help them make the payment okay all right so you find out that you have receiving wallet so you can see the example that is given to you here okay the example of uh the wallet the wallet for bitcoin you can see the sample of uh, for litecoin so what you put here is the bitcoin address that you were given for the payment okay um right here there's what they call transaction id or hash id when doing transactions on, on the on bitcoin with bitcoin okay so the transition id is like what we have with our own explorer so that when you click it it shows you all the accounts formed on the blockchain on the on the block that we are how do i say this um you know that we have confirmed with that same within that same batch 
okay so it's very important that you submit this because if you have two tibetans who uh the same thing the same day at the same time and they have the same uh, transaction id it becomes a problem and the first person is the person that gets the pass so now you know this make sure that you rush immediately copy the long this thing okay this this black portion is hiding it but this is very long okay look for it and post and paste it here then paste in the amount in bitcoin that you sent to the bitcoin address that was given to you so it's very simple then another thing again is this to help resolve the issue at times you have to put the dates and you have to ind indicate your or your time zone like what i do is when when i pay the ten dollar fee i come down there and um i come down here and put the date and write uh west african um you know what african time zone okay that is wat then submit it's very important because they receive a lot of payments and the information you provide to them is very critical okay so when you put in the date and the time it, it helps them to narrow down their search uh, in terms of uh, bringing forth your transaction and approving it on time so that your status will change to paid. Okay, so that's it for this place. Uh, let's head out to um, to transaction verification. Oops. All right. So I'm always having ch I'm always having challenge when I come to this page. Okay. Go back. <sighs> All right, so I'm back in again. I want to show you the final uh, thing to take note of when you're doing transaction verification. Okay. All right. So when you scroll down, when you all, your payment have been recognized and your status on Kringo Cash have been updated, you will see all these options right here. Okay, so by our interest is on transaction verification. Okay, so if you have bought TBC from me, what you need to do is click on confirmation request bracket buyers. Okay, uh, the seller's option is where. Um, the transaction the uh, verifications you you initiated comes to okay for me to approve all right so in this case now i don't have any request here but you can click here okay very important then you put in your first name and your last name then you're being asked the wallet type okay this was something that was not there before so let me let me um uh, narrow or reduce this so that you can see the whole page okay now okay so you can choose if your wallet is uh, the old wallet and you did transaction and you want to verify that transaction what you, what you need to do is just put in your first name your last name type in uh, select tbc00.net 004.net put in the amount in usd your wallet address Put in the transaction ID, TBC transaction ID, and most importantly, the date of the purchase. A lot of people have made mistakes with the date of the purchase without looking at the format. So the format is month, day, and year. Okay, month, day, and year. That's how you put the purchase. Okay, then at the end, you collect your, the way you put purchase details, you put either with Bitcoin or PayPal or cash or even merchandise, okay? Or right, let's say somebody buys uh, goods from you with TBC and you guys are verifying the transaction. That's what you're going to use. Then you, the person who sold the TBC for you, you put his email address uh, in that space. Then you click submit. Or if you're not sure of whatever information you provided, you can click save and come back to it later. Okay. All right. So this is for TBC 004.net. Now for verification on the new wallet. When you put in your first name and your last name, what you do is click here and select tbc009.net, okay? So you see that the interface has changed, okay? It has changed. So what you put in your first name, your last name, you put in the amount you purchased in, uh, in, 
USD, okay? So if you purchase hundred dollar out of TBC, what you do is you put you put the amount in hundred USD, okay? Then you put your new wallet address, okay? You the buyer will put your wallet address. Then on the date of purchase, what you simply do is uh, type in the date of purchase uh, with year coming first, month coming second, and and date coming third. Okay, unlike what we have with tbc 4net Now the time of purchase is very important because you need to go back to the transactions on uh, on um, the transaction, the particular transaction you're verifying. On your new wallet then you from there you copy out the exact time you do the transaction because this is serving as a timestamp okay all right but though they can see everything from their back end but at the same time they want you to uh uh go through the process okay so make sure that you provide the right information mm -hmm. then after that you put in the amount you purchase in kringle so when you go uh to your account um uh, to your wallet your new wallet okay all you need to do is just uh copy out the amount in kringle coins that is the amount that was transacted in kringle coins and um you impute it there okay then the method of purchase is sent in with tbc004.net you select either bitcoin or paper okay then you put in the seller's email address and submit okay all right so if you're not sure you can still click save and submit okay all right guys so uh that's it for this video okay that's it for this video i want to thank you all for watching and hope that you learned uh, some lessons today okay all right so another thing you need to know is just make sure okay that you have the billion coin app okay that you have the billion coin app very very important because you can see you have the about us the blog the kringle cash the migrating new wallet which will be obsolete by um when the when the migration has ended meaning that we are now using the wa new wallet so that is what will come down here you can still see the old wallet sitting down there. So for those of you who still have transactions on the old wallet, get it done, okay? Then easily contact support by clicking on the uh, TBC support. It will take you to uh, the email. Uh, so it will take you to the email where you will have the address of the TBC police, um, the TBC support already written there. So all you have to do is just put in the right, uh, put in your issue on write up or, or just just type your issue and submit okay then wait for their response basically you get a response from 48 to 72 hours if you use tbc support which is the only option you have at the moment unless you have someone who is experienced in what you are doing that um you can uh you know how do i say this so the most important thing is get the app and be in the know of what is happening with TBC, okay? So, take care of the winners, take care of the winners, take care, bye for now.